for those who don't know Polypipe, uh, one of Euro Europe's largest manufacturer of uh, plastic piping systems. We supply the residential, commercial and relevant uh, infrastructure sectors. We're primarily a UK business. Um, we recently floated on the stock exchange and uh, are now 4250 business. And um, our two key areas of development are around water management and carbon reduction. So hopefully we'll manufacture products which are uh, relevant for, for today's subject. In my kind of six or seven minutes, I'm going to hopefully talk about uh, why we believe we, we can demonstrate a circular economy within the construction sector. I'm going to talk about uh, sustainable inputs, processes, materials and solutions which hopefully enable us to uh, create a sustainable environment. So in terms of sustainable inputs, what does that mean? Um, it's recycling, essentially. We, we invested about five years ago, we invested about six million pounds into a, a materials recycling plant um, where we take, uh, Andy talked about the, uh, the black bins where he was using product from uh, domestic use. We, we would go and, well, in, in my neighborhood, the blue bins where you, uh, you take the recycled waste. We take that product from the uh, um, people like Biffa and, and Virado Veolia and uh, we, we, we take that product, some 17,500 tonnes, and we've replaced 17,500 tonnes of virgin prime material from the petrochem industry. Um, why did we do that? Uh, some as yourself, it wasn't for, um, to improve our environmental credentials, it was to, to save money and to reduce material uh, volatility. Um, so, <coughs> but I think the message is, being greener, uh, being more environmentally friendly doesn't necessarily mean more cost. In fact, it can mean less cost, and, and that's certainly what it's meant for us. Just to give you a flavour for, for what we're talking about, it's, uh, that, that's the kind of product that we, we take from uh, the recyclers. So it's uh, squashed milk bottles, detergent bottles, etc. So it's a fairly, uh, a fairly messy process. Um, <coughs> we then so we've got sustainable inputs, we've got sustainable processes, all of our uh, equipment is, uh, is closed loop, we recycle all of our waste and we, we manage all of our water consumption. That's a, a picture of what, uh, what we do, so we take the, uh, the compressed bale of, uh, of plastic bottles, uh, we separate, we wash, we granulate, uh, we sort and then we recompound and we turn it back into uh, to plastic pipes which are then buried for circa 100 to 120 years. So uh, hopefully it's a, it's a positive story. Um, and we're now 45% of all of our output in the plant is, is generated from, uh, from that recycled material. So it's been a good investment, a good use of that six million pounds of capex. In terms of materials, we believe um, plastic in itself is a, is a sustainable material. Um, notwithstanding uh, the credentials of, uh, of cement and uh, but plastic by its nature is much lighter in weight um, it's circa 94 percent uh, lighter than than concrete and therefore from a construction point of view the, the kind of plant and machinery required to move your plastic pipes around is somewhat lighter than uh, what you would need to to move around the concrete pipe so it's a, s a sustainable material in that sense and then finally, the products that we manufacture, as I alluded to in the first slide, we concentrate our efforts on two areas. One, uh, reducing carbon, uh, such as the ventilation products, and uh, the products that I manufacture in, in, in the civils business are mostly around uh, water management for either flood prevention or water conservation. The other types of products that we manufacture, um, so we manufacture anything from uh, at crates or large diameter pipes for attenuating and collecting the water, which was um, the chap from Anglian who had the, the project uh, that uh, <coughs> converted a concrete tank to a plastic tank. That's the, exactly the type of product. It was actually one of our competitors' products. I had a check in the, uh, in the coffee break, but um, nevertheless, it, it's, a, it's a good demonstration of, of where the products are used. So hopefully, and I quite like that slide, um, hopefully that demonstrates uh, where the circular economy can work within the construction market. We've got sustainable inputs, processes, materials and products, which hopefully um, 
help to create uh, more resilient cities, greener cities. And I think there was a recent study where you know this this has genuine uh, benefits for uh, for for the people who live in those cities. It reduces um, health uh, demands in terms of NHS, etc. So that's the presentation. Um, thank you for your time.